Today we're going to be looking at how to make a lead sound like this one. Let me really quick show you in the context of a small little sort of a track thing. So this is what we will be making. And the idea is pretty straightforward. In fact, it's a riff off of the acid base idea. And we see that we actually have the similar setup here. What's deceptive about this sound is even though it's only a couple of things set up, getting the settings in the right place to produce this effect is really quite tricky. Um, if you don't sort of stumble across it on your own, if you're like trying to go out and make this sound, I think it's kind of like a tricky thing to get right because it's a pretty specific way of doing things. So let's go ahead, let's jump in and make make this. The basic idea is we have a square wave. We send the square wave through a filter combo that we talked about before. And then we make that interact with the envelope in this sort of a, a fashion. And we can, of course, we can mix in other, other oscillators. <laughs> which I find really, really helpful as your track progresses. Now you can have sounds that are similar to your original, but they're unique too. So it adds variety, but it doesn't like become a distraction. So things like that are really helpful. And because this is based on this model with uh, this envelope in this particular setup, they gained really unique characteristics. That's pretty... That's pretty cool. And the attack will change dynamically because of this relationship. So let's go ahead, let's open up another Spire. Spire, open please, thank you. And first things first, we're gonna go to the initialize preset and we want a square wave. You can get one by just changing control A. Now we have a square wave. Beautiful. And the next setup, again, is a familiar thing to us. We're going to change it to Acid, and this time we're going to change it to Shaper. And we are going to, you can mess with the cutoffs. This is, of course, something we're going to have to come back to as we go. But we, we know we are going to want to drive the resonance pretty hard on these guys because the resonance is what's going to act as our main distortion. It's going to give us that timbre. <laughs> cool. Now what we need to do is we have our envelope here. We're gonna wanna set up the um, decay and sustain. So we're gonna bring these down and we're gonna bring the uh, amount down. And the amount coming down is pretty important because it changes how these settings will scale with these knobs. And so if we have the amount really high up, changing changes here, small ones will have a larger impact here. We don't want that. We want, a, we want it to be uh, less impact. It was that way the moves we make will have like more fine adjustments. So we're going to do that instead. And as soon as we bring the decay up, we're going to shift where the cutoff sits. And this is going to become pretty important. Okay, cool. So we've got the general preparation. We've got the timbre down. We're going to send this through a distortion. So I'm going to come over here to the shape module, turn it all the way on. And I'm going to pick tube three. Each one has its own character, but we're going to go with tube three in this case. And we're going to turn the drive up. So we check out like tube two and tube one. But I favored tube three just after trying them out. Okay, now comes the point where that sounds like a square wave. And if we listen to the original, we had a very nasally quality. And the only difference is how these knobs are set up so let's go ahead and dial this in and we're already pretty close to there so in this case we just had to move the cutoff but we can of course change up the decay and change how long that you at the beginning happens find something that you think is kind of tasteful a quicker one i think will sound better maybe a little longer And we are pretty much there. I didn't bother with any additional effects on it. So if we come in here uh, and we take this, we can really quick copy this part 
and we'll go ahead and mute this part of it and we will paste in our part. Let's hear how it sounds with the patch that we just designed. So pretty dang close. If we uh, do a little bit of comparison here, here was the original. So it's got a little more of the high end stuff, which I like a little more. So let's come in here and see if changing the cutoff and resonance values can't give us a little more of what we're looking for. There we go. Just drive cut off to a little bit more. That'll reduce the low end. And now I think we're much closer. And now let's hear the other one. So we're pretty close. In this case, I actually think I might like the second patch that we made a little bit more. If you have any questions, let me know. Subscribe, hit that bell icon for future videos, and have a blessed day.